Just another squirrel hunting vid here. It was just a gorgeous day. I didn't want it to get out. And I had a dentist appointment, so I came over here and I was a little early and I ran into this little patch of woods that I know right near where I work and I got those two. Well, I went to my appointment and I saw another pair near here and, it, and I, when I got out of the dentist appointment, I came right back and I just got one down here. We'll walk down and pick up. Try to walk carefully. It's a pretty good shot. And uh, I thought I saw one moving down here. And we'll walk down and pick this one up and I'll go up and sit there and skin those squirrels out. Uh, geez, I can only shoot one more and I'm limited out for the day. I'm pretty sure that's him right there. Bone, something that you've done. Yep, it is. He's a little bigger one. Nice squirrel. That's three for the day. He's our limit here in Vermont is four. Oh, I may be limited out here shortly, which is all right. We all go back up where the others are and get them skinned. The quicker you squing them after you shoot them, the easier it is. Well, there's three so far. And I'm going to sit here and skin these three. And I can watch around me. It's a pretty good looking area. Morning. In one of the previous videos, somebody asked me if I could do a video on on cooking the squirrels. Well, the first thing I do is wash them up good in the sink. I didn't show that part. And I quarter them. That's not a very big gray squirrel right there either. And then I give them a, a quick boil. These were younger ones. If it's an old male, I'm going to boil in quite a while. Um, these I give them a boils. That's the first step I do is wash them up good in the sink, cut them up into four pieces, and I give them a good boil. And when they're done boiling, I'll turn the camera on. We'll show you the next step. Okay, they've had a good boil. As you can see, probably once it boiled, I let it boil. With these young ones, probably 10 minutes. Older ones, I might boil them 20, depending on how old they are. The next step I do, I take this right over to the sink and I just turn the tap right on in it. You can dump them out. And the sink is clean. Oh, a little bit, get that out of the way. Okay, now. Actually, you can salt and pepper and eat them right now if you want to. You'll see the meat's coming right off the bones. Good. They're good and tender. But what I'm going to do is get me a... Let me shut this off. This is the last step to preparing the squirrels. The seasoning salt is a good flavor. Like I said, a little heavy there, so I'm using the wrong hand. I just take the fork and try to get some of that around on the other one. And I just brown them up good here in the pan before. Now that, that's probably the Cadillac way. Sometimes I take them and I give them a boil and I take the meat right off the bone. I boil them a little longer so the meat's coming right off the bone. And then I just make a nice gravy and uh, mashed potatoes, eat them that way. And, uh, well, I see John Capps there. He was cooking his over an open fire. I'm going to try that someday. You know, if I get some young ones, I wouldn't do it with an older squirrel, but these younger ones that are smaller, they'd be tender enough to do that with. 
Well, I'll get these browned up and I'll show you what they look like when they're ready to eat. They're pretty good this way. I've let them marinate today and they'll have a nice flavor. There's the finished product of the squirrels all fried. I used a little olive oil today. That's what I had. And that's a pretty good meal right there. That, that, that's really good. Um, kind of enjoyable. Well, thanks for watching. That's what they look like. And that's how I cook them sometimes, most of the time. I don't always season them. Sometimes I just fry them. If they're young, I just fry them. But if they're older squirrels, you're going to want to give them a boil because they can be kind of tough. Hey, thanks for watching.